What's going on guys? Cal here, Jerbreak Central, and today I have a new very exciting announcement for you guys. Apple unveiled the new iOS 7 along with some other products um, at their developers conference yesterday. So there's a lot of stuff. I unfortunately don't have the actual video of it because that's uh, copyrighted. They've copyrighted that, so I can't show you guys that. I'm sure you can look it up on their um, channel. But this is just a great article that I found that really sums up um, what happened at the developers conference and what's uh, what's new. So basically, iOS 7 has been released. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of new stuff. And basically, as I've previously posted on Twitter a couple times, what they've really done is they've taken away the uh, the glint, the whole like shine to it. So it's more um, simple. It's a lot cleaner. Not not a lot of the uh, not a lot of shine and like glamour i guess you could say it's really just simple um very matte kind of like as opposed to a shine so that um that's kind of interesting it's really really um new and different it's really completely redesigned according to cook and he says that it's actually the biggest change to ios since the introduction of the iphone so that's interesting um of course they say these things we don't really know until we get our hands on it but um, some new things is a redesigned notification center a new control center that offers users quick access to commonly used functions I'm a mobile version of AirDrop that allows document sharing between iOS devices and Macs. That's really cool. Um, so that'll be really useful if you want to type documents on either your phone now um, and then send it to your Mac or something like that. Um, there's an updated version of the mobile Safari browser with a smart search bar to enter URLs or different engines. Again, very interesting. They're kind of changing it. I wonder if they're going to go in the way that Google did where it's just one solid bar or stuff like that. Something like that, something new should be interesting. There's some new camera filters, so not the camera hasn't been changed, but the um, the filters themselves and the options that you can choose when taking pictures has been changed. Maybe some Instagram filters will be added in there. We're not sure yet. We'll have to see. Um, a new photos app that organizes pictures according to moments. Not really sure exactly what this can mean. Um, there's definitely some different possibilities. Moments could be when you took the picture, like a date. It could be, uh, I'm not really sure, it kind of leaves it up open, um, so comment if you guys, what you guys think um, according to that. There's a new Smarter Siri with a new interface and new voices, so male, female, and languages. That's pretty much, um, we pretty much could have guessed that, they're always going to make it smarter. <laughs> I hope they're not going to make it dumber. But um, now there's iOS in the car, which is really interesting, so it integrates Apple's mobile system into automobiles built for the next model year. This is super interesting, this is one of the biggest things that happened, or that they talked about really. So this is really going to make um, the iPhone a part of your car now, as opposed to just something you keep on your person. It could be um, definitely some, I'm not sure if they're going to do Bluetooth or what's going to go on there, but that definitely seems really big, um, uh, although it is only for the next year's model, so older models, um, car won't work with it, but we'll see how that how that looks. Really interesting yet again. Um, automatic up updates, app updates, sorry, via the app store. So I actually did a jailbreak tweak um, review a little while ago talking about automatic app updates and how it'll automatically update your apps. Turns out Apple, um, I guess, liked that, so they decided to integrate it in iOS 7. You actually notice a lot of these features and a lot of stuff that um, Apple releases in the new iOSs is actually from jailbreak tweaks. Like jailbreak developers have created these things, you know, months or even a year before. They're released, but Apple, I think Apple personally looks at them and then says, that looks really cool. I think we'll put that in the new iOS. So in a way, I think Apple actually does support the jailbreak community, even though it doesn't seem so um, just on looking at them. Now, there's another feature called Activation Lock that prevents a stolen phone from being reactivated, even if a device is wiped. So that's just some more security features. Um, finally, the long-rumored streaming music service, iTunes Radio, um, free with ads and ad-free for those with App Apple's paid iTunes Match service. So it's um, that's pretty big. So they have released the iTunes Radio in iOS 7. So that'll be interesting. We'll see how it is. should be sort of like a Pandora type thing, I'm assuming. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So installing iOS 7 on your phone is like getting a whole new phone, but one that you know how to use. That was said by uh, Fed. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Anyway, I'll put this link um, to the article in the description so you can read more about it. I'll post it on Twitter. I actually posted something like this on Twitter a little while ago. So if you're not following me on Twitter, definitely do that. Some great updates that I post there that I don't really share with my YouTube channel. But other than that, guys, it's really, really interesting. Once again, though, if you have a jailbroken device, do not update to iOS 7. If you wish to keep that jailbroken device just because um, it'll wipe the jailbreak from it and you won't be able to jailbreak it again because the, um, the jailbreak community has not yet created a jailbreak for iOS 7. They're working on it right now. Actually, as soon as it was announced, that's what all the uh, jailbreak developers said, that they, were gonna, they weren't going to jailbreak iOS 6.1.3, and instead they were going to save up all their time and energy for iOS 7. 
So I'm hoping that iOS 7 jailbreak will come out fairly soon. There were some new security features installed in it, but they should be able to crack that pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Once again, follow my Twitter if you want to get updates on that, because that will certainly be posting a ton about that. Other than that, guys, that's it. That is the iOS 7, what's been released uh, or talked about at the developers conference uh, yesterday. Other than that, guys, hope you guys have a great day. If you enjoyed, don't forget to click that like button. It really means a lot, guys. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day, and see you guys later.